Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 most dangerous states in the United States. Are you living in one of these states? Sometimes, we feel really worried when we hear about a crime happening not too far from our home. But don't worry too much. Chances are, where you live is pretty safe, even if there's a crime nearby. Instead of relying on public opinion and speculation, we decided to look at the real facts. We checked out the crime information from the FBI to figure out which states in the U.S. are the most dangerous. If you live in one of these places we're talking about, you probably know that you have to be careful quite often. Our goal with this study is to use real information to find out which of our American states have the most crime happening. We looked at things that most people would agree are not good. So, even if you have your own opinions, you can't argue against the methodology. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the top 10 most dangerous states in the United States. Now, let's take a closer look at each of these top 10 dangerous states. Coming in at number 10 on the list is Arizona. Arizona takes the 10 the spot as one of the dangerous states to live in the country. And we're not talking about the weather, guys. There are two main problems with crime in Arizona, robberies, and the border with Mexico. Last year, a total of 17,937 cars were stolen in Arizona, and there were almost 24,488 cases of robbers breaking into people's homes. Imagine coming home to find your place all messed up. People in Arizona know this well. They make sure to lock up everything securely. The border with Mexico is the biggest concern here. People complain about burglaries, strangers coming into their homes, smugglers crossing their properties, causing damage, and even assaults related to immigrants. Arizona also ranks third worst in the whole country when it comes to health care for its residents. The one positive is that you're allowed to carry a gun here without a permit, so that might help some people feel safer. Moving on to number 9 on the list, Colorado. It might be surprising to see Colorado here. The reason it jumped up to become the ninth most dangerous state in 2023 is because of property crimes. The rate of property crimes in Colorado is the third highest in the whole country, which is quite shocking when we look back a few years. In the past year, there were 294 murders in Colorado. Additionally, you have about a 1 in 250 chance of being the victim of a heinous crime every year. Some of the riskiest areas in Colorado include Glendale, Sheridan, and Alamo. Now, let's talk about number 8, Oklahoma. Oklahoma doesn't have the highest number of property and violent crimes in the top 10, but things get serious when you consider the crimes per resident. A lot of these issues are connected to poverty. Tulsa, in particular, stands out as a bad place to live. The good news is that violent crime has actually gone down by 4% over the past few years, and property crime has decreased by 5%. According to the stats, you'd have a 1 in 100 chance of being a victim of a violent crime every year. Some people believe Oklahoma's issues are with state funding, which builds jails instead of schools, and a healthcare problem that leaves many people in the dark. Let's talk about number 7 on our list, Missouri. Most Americans might think of Missouri as a bunch of redneck farmers, and to some extent, that's true. But there's more to it, especially if you haven't been to St. Louis. In 2021, St. Louis had the second to last ranking for murders per person in the entire country. While most of these crimes are linked to rival gangs in specific neighborhoods, the violence sometimes spills over to other parts of the city. So, even though the majority of Missouri is quite safe and its residents work hard, attend church, and care about their communities, the actions of a few troublemakers make things difficult for everyone else. When it comes to property crimes, Missouri ranks as the ninth worst state. This includes things like stolen cars, cell phones, and even toys being taken. Let's talk about number six on the list of the most dangerous states in the United States, Alaska. Alaska is the most violent state in the whole country. While not many people live in most parts of Alaska, the places where cities gather have higher chances of having crimes like assault, rape, or murder. That's pretty scary. Alaska also ranks 13th in the country for property crimes. In many faraway Alaskan communities, which you can only reach by plane, the biggest danger isn't wild animals. It's actually the people living there and the fact that there's no police around to help those in trouble. There are about 75 Native American Alaskan villages with no police, as reported by the Washington Post. 
These villages are isolated, far from help, and it can take a day and a half for the Alaska State Troopers to reach them. This means that if a crime happens, like someone getting hurt, it could be a long time before anyone can come to help. Imagine being in trouble and having no way to get out of your village due to bad weather. It's really tough. So, if you're in Alaska, make sure you're careful. Number five on the list of most dangerous states in the United States is Tennessee. Surprising, right? Memphis, a city in Tennessee, stands out as one of the worst in the nation. Last year, people in Memphis had a 1 in 49 chance of experiencing crimes like assault, rape, or murder that's 5% higher than the previous year. With about 10,000 gang members in Shelby County, where Memphis is located, the situation is tough. Poverty, drug use, and lack of good jobs contribute to Tennessee's violence, similar to other states we've talked about. There's a lot of property crime too, often linked to drugs. Unfortunately, there don't seem to be enough police to handle the troublemakers. Number four on the list of the most dangerous states in the United States is South Carolina. When it comes to crimes like car theft, robbery, and home invasion, South Carolina has a reputation for property crimes. In fact, its residents have the fifth highest chance of becoming victims of these crimes in the entire country. Myrtle Beach is particularly problematic. It used to be a fantastic vacation spot, but things have changed. Trash, break-ins, and even gunshots at night have become common, especially during events like Bike Week, 4th of July, and Spring Break. A lot of South Carolina faces economic challenges, which contribute to property crimes. High unemployment, widespread drug use, and not prioritizing education are part of the issue. In terms of safety, South Carolina gets a failing grade for home and community safety. The state ranks almost last in road safety by the National Safety Council. While South Carolina's coastal areas might be beautiful, leaving your belongings unattended is risky, as you might not find them there when you return. Let's talk about number three on the list, Arkansas. It's another southern state struggling with poverty, leading to a higher number of murders, rapes, assaults, and robberies per person. If you're in the Arkansas state, remember to lock your car doors. In 2022, there were over 7,933 car thefts reported in Arkansas. Quite shocking. Now, about Little Rock, no offense intended, but it's known to be a tough place. It often shows up on lists of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. In a city of its size, having 50 murders a year is extremely high. It might not be as dangerous as Memphis, but in many areas, it's pretty rough. Pine Bluff is also challenging, but if you're not involved in gangs, you'll likely avoid trouble there. Moving on to number two on the list of the most dangerous states in the United States, Louisiana. Louisiana struggles with poverty, and this contributes to a high number of thefts and attacks. Five cities in Louisiana Monroe, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Alexandria are considered hotbeds of danger in this region. If you're out after dark, you need to stay watchful in these places, and it's not wise to venture into swampy areas after sunset either. Overall, Louisiana ranks in the top five for both violent and property crimes. The state had nearly 11 murders and non-negligent manslaughters per 100,000 people. To put that in perspective, not long ago, the next highest state was Mississippi with seven, and the lowest was New Hampshire with just one per 100,000 people. This means that Louisiana's murder rate is 10 times higher than that of New Hampshire. Interestingly, Louisiana also holds the title of the prison capital of America, locking up more citizens per capita than any other state. Despite the friendly people and rich culture, factors like poverty, hot weather, and lenient gun laws contribute to making this the wild, wild south. Now, let's talk about the top of the list number one on the most dangerous states in the United States, New Mexico. This state faces a combination of challenges we've discussed, a struggling Native American population, widespread poverty, lack of education, limited job opportunities, and its border location, leading to crime and illegal border crossing. New Mexico's rate of violent crimes per person is the second highest, and it holds the unfortunate record for the highest rate of property crimes in the entire nation. This means more robberies, thefts, and break-ins happen here than anywhere else in the U.S. Interestingly, half of all reported crimes occur in Albuquerque, where car thefts are at an alarming level. 
Living in New Mexico might mean dealing with constant worries about crime while being a bit bored, but on the bright side, you can enjoy some beautiful sunsets. Wraps up our discussion for today. If you like this video, remember to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Share your thoughts on which state you think is the most dangerous among the top 10 in the comments below. I'm excited to read your opinions, and sure others are too.